traveling while skiing? Is that really possible? Well, yes, then you would have to come to the Porte du Soleil because in here you can go for a ski safari. The Porte du Soleil is the world's largest international ski resort. With over 308 slopes over a total length of 600 kilometers, you'll have endless of choices of how to get around in the ski resort. Thus, you can travel on ski without doing any of the slopes more than once. There are plenty of tours, but in this video I'm going to show you my personal Tour A. We first will start in Morgin, a cute village that just sits at the border to France. By the way, it's a really wonderful winter village, very much worth exploring, even if you don't ski. First, you should take this lift up to the Foyers, which is your starting point to head to the next stations. From the Foyers, you will have a fantastic frontal view over the seven peaks called Don du Midi. You may even spot Mont Blanc in between the summits. From the Swiss side of the ski resort, I would say it's probably the best vista you can get over this mountain. Now, cross over to Buschas by taking this slope and take this six person's chairlift up. In this tour, you will have enough time to complete your trip while skiing, thus no rushing is required. Having been skiing in this resort since over 28 years, I highly recommend you to try this great slope and then take again the same cable lift. Then head over to the next station at this cute village called Champoussin. This site in general is very sunny, we'll get again great views over the Dent du Midi and the Dent Blanche. In order to cross over to the next station, which would be Le Creuset, you will first have to take this lift up to the Aiguille de Champé and then to the Pointe de l'Eau. The slope down to Le Creuset will involve some parts at where you need to speed. Overall, it's a really great slope. By the way, this here is my uncle Laurent, we have been skiing together on an almost yearly basis since my childhood. Now he's at 80 and whew, he's still a pro. This here is Le Creuset, which is the largest station here in the Swiss side of the Porte du Soleil. You have many lifts in here, a lot of variants for the slopes. So this is definitely one of the great places here in this ski resort. This station here is very large, you have plenty of lifts that you may take up to the Pointe de Mosset on 2200 meters. By the way, that's the highest elevation in the entire resort and it's entirely on the Swiss side. Then you can also go up to the Marchesson or the Grand Canche. Really nice is this snow park taking you down to Le Creuset. There are many ramps, it's really fun watching the pros doing some tricks. If you prefer to have a great wide slope for some carving, then simply just ski down below the same chairlift. Afterwards, again take the same lift and then head over to Chavanet. I'm now at uh, Bade Chavanet. This is the border between Switzerland and France. So on this side is Amoria. That's the way down to Lake Rose. But in order to go down to Lake Rose from here, you would have to take Le Mur, the Swiss wall, which is one of the steepest slopes in the entire world. <sighs> this slope, it's insane. And I still feel this way now being adult. But I remember for the first time I had to try it at the age of seven, joining my parents, and <sighs> it was so steep, wow. Yet, I think it looks a lot more thrilling than it actually has been during my childhood days. Let's begin the steepest slope in the entire world. After this, go back to the anchor lift, take it again, but then take this track leading you down to Grand Paradis. It's a really wonderful slope leading you through a miraculous pine tree forest. This slope is really long and it will take you down to Champéry. Well, 
When you take these two lifts, then you will again reach Le Creuset, and then you should head over to the Pointe de Mosset. From Mosset, we are finally heading over to France. Now on the Grand Canche, which is still on the Swiss side, but further down in the valley is already France. So I'm now crossing over to Les Landare and then to Avoria, which is wow. You will love it definitely. It's such an amazing place. For this, you'll have to take this very long track leading you down to Les Landere. But for the final bit, you really need to speed, otherwise you cannot make it in one breath. This cable lift will take you to one of my favorite villages in the Port du Soleil, to wonderful Avoria. This here is Avoria, one of the most exciting stations in the entire ski resort. It's a beautiful modern alpine French village. And even if you come here as a pedestrian, you can see so many things. Definitely very exciting to be in this place. Avoria is always a highlight, especially when entering this enchanting village on ski. What a wonderful scenery. The village is very happening, there are many restaurants and there's even a merry-go-round. If you don't ski, definitely consider visiting Avoria, you can even go for a ride on the horse sleigh. The go-to-go -go lift in Avoria is this one here, the Express Lac d'Entre. Once having reached the top, you can head almost to every point in Avoria, either down to the village or even further to Le Prodin or then to Schuka in order to return to Chavanet for heading to Switzerland. Very scenic is the descent down to the village of Avoria. Now make sure to have a short stop at this point to snap some great photos of this wonderful town. In order for you to return to Morgen, you have to take the Express du Tour from which you can oversee the village. However, beware, the queue there is usually quite long, it can even take up to 20 minutes. For returning to Les Landere, you can take the Stash. It's a really cool snow park inside the forest. If you're lucky enough, you may catch some pro skiers or snowboarders doing some great tricks. This lift, La Lecher, will lead you down to Brochot, at where you need to take this very long lift up to the Pointe de Mosset. This was the last lift you needed to take to return to Morgen, but then a really wonderful slope through a miraculous pantry forest will await you. Alternatively, you may take the track called Bist Didi de Fargo. It's named after the winner of the Olympic Games of 2010. He, by the way, is from Morgen itself. It's a really fantastic track that merges later with the slope coming from Tovasier. All in all, skiing in the Port du Soleil is really great. You can travel on ski. I think this is something very unique. The prices there are also quite moderate. Now it's around 70 Swiss francs a day for the entire ski resort. And you can see there are just endless of options of how to get around. 